Hello everyone, welcome to Magical Tea Party. We had a week's break because some people were absent. Here now again, and we're doing Out of the Abyss again. We left on quite the cliffhanger. Um, our party had just had uh, quite a successful escape and is now chilling in a cave that they've just slept in all night. Um, they have two allies in NPCs and allies in each other as well. It's um, it's been going very well for them so far. They've been going way faster than they thought they would. How rude of you all. Um, but I think, like, because we're not like Critical Role and we have eight million announcements, we just I just need to say what we are and what we're doing. Yeah. So uh, let's just do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last to heck we the sponsors. Off, yeah, <laughs> screw you all. Just kidding. Sponsor us. We're, we're, we have 18 subscribers and counting. Most Ooh, of them are our last friends. Week. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is, to be fair. Um, so, we, if you want to go ahead and check out what happened last session, you can watch the previous episode. But uh, I've done this ingenious idea that I make all my players do the recaps now. So who wants to do that? <laughs> Everybody removes. <laughs> Come on. It helps you guys jog your memory. All right, fine, I'll I'll do it. Wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> Last we left off, uh um everyone was busy working in the prison. Uh Laura and Palmov were lifting rocks with Ron um, and everyone else pretty much was tying ropes. <laughs> um, then someone shot stool and well, we're not going to have that. So Miles uh, took a swing at him um, and so did everyone else and they all died and then a bridge fell uh, and we opened a door and there was a guy there who killed the guy jumped over the bridge, um, found some stuff, got some stuff. Went Run away from bridge, spiders. A bunch of guys. Laura nearly died. Um, <laughs> stool nearly died. Then we opened a chest, an alarm went off, and we all ran. And we? Then... <laughs> yes, we. Everyone <laughs> ran. <laughs> Then right. uh, somebody tripped a trip. trap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I was the one who opened the chest. <laughs> yeah, I was trapped. I didn't think to look. <laughs> All right. Um, so we begin the session with our party awaking, except uh, Adequen, who had a little extra time to himself. Um, you all wake up in this small, relatively out-of-the-way cavern that doesn't seem to lead to anywhere, very gently illuminated by the surrounding fungus. Um, Laura, blinking yeah. your eyes open, looking around for a second, this is way brighter than you just left it. Still dim, but you have got so much more detail. I don't remember that happening. Is it brighter than any for anyone else in here? No. And there's still no water for my feet. Oh, my hell. Uh, if you can see I any, you can guide me to wherever the water happens to be. I suppose we should go out and look for some sort of water or something. Right, well, um, I suppose we best be off then. I was, I was but in which direction? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I think uh, I'm lying. Is that? <laughs> um, as you're discussing this, you kind of peer your head around. You can see a fairly straight passage onwards, and the pathway that kind of winds and weaves through the rocks a little bit about 40 feet down, and you're, you're amazed that you can see this far, Lara. 
it splits off into two. There's a large cavernous hole in the center and they both branch up and along the large rocky walls of this cavernous area and they spiral around a little bit. And they go off. And that's like opposite the way we came from. Opposite the way you came from. As you're um, looking around, you feel a faint tap on like the side of your thigh. As you can see, Buppido is just kind of pointing. Um, that way. That's my home. Oh, I suppose that'd be a good place to start and get some food and water then. So, uh, I guess we'll go that way. Um, someone get uh, him up and uh, Lara's going to uh, pick up stool in one hand and begin walking out, waiting for everyone else as well. Okay. Um... We're still shackled, Buffalo, I suppose, point, right? You are all shackled except Lara right now. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and still because it's physically impossible. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, you and you're all leaving to follow Buffalo's guidance. Should we not get off the chains first? Uh, no. Try. We do look a little bit suspicious. <laughs> it may be yeah. easier to escape without chains. Yeah, it would probably help. Um, Buppado, you said uh, it was your home, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Graxler. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll start off with you, then I'll try break uh, Buppado's uh, chain. All right, go ahead and make a strength check for me. As you attempt to just snap him off. That's a 12. 12. You're a bit exhausted from all the running you did last night, and they're not budging. Nope. Can't get open. Sorry. Yeah. That's fine. They're really annoying, though. Well, we'll find some way to get them open. All right. Does anyone have... <laughs> well, we don't have anything, do we? No. We have not I, ha I have a few crossbow things. bolts that I picked out of that chest. I don't know whether we can pick the lock with them. Um, uh, not really too good with that. Is anyone in here good with picking locks and stuff? I'm not good with any sort of tools. Not very used to using them. Picking locks. Oh, Rich is quite quiet. She'll turn him up. Uh, yeah, Rich, you are very quiet. Oh, I have turned you up to 190%. Maybe that'll help. I am um, good at picking locks. You might be good then. Try try to pick the locks, Snake Man. It'd probably be a good idea to introduce ourselves properly now. Yeah. I don't. I don't think many of us know each other's names. Yeah, I, I mean, I certainly don't know any of you lot. Um. Well, does anyone want to start? Uh, I guess I start. My name is Malus. Uh, I'm from the Temple of Saluna. I do not belong down here. Yeah, I with well. uh, I with Adequan there. Oh. <laughs> and well, also in chains I do not want to be in chains anymore yes well that makes most of us I think well um, I'm Laura um, I also don't belong down here uh, I'd quite like to get back home so uh, yeah let's Let's try get out. Um, what about you, um, Mister? Wash my feet. Talking of that, if you have container, I can help. I'm Parlamov. I just do not like dirty feet. I have to clean my feet. I'm a I, monk. I'm a monk, and both? I I'm I'm a, I'm a demon hunter. I I I must have clean feet. 
And I, I, I'm searching for as many demons as I can find. I, I have to clear this world demons. of demons. For research purposes. I, I hope mind. you don't want them alive. <laughs> Either or. As long as I can research them, I'd not mind. Right. But if you, ha if you have bowl, I can help you with 30 feet. I only have uh, the things I'm carrying, which is these manacles and uh, the hand crossbow that I managed to carry. Do you... Is that part of your occupation that you need clean feet then as a demon hunter? Do you need to have clean feet? I just don't do like dirty feet. It, it, does, it does not help me in any way. I just have to have clean feet. No, but it doesn't really like prevent you from doing anything either. I mean, I just... But I would hate for you all to smell my feet. How big is this yeah. uh, cave we're in, Jake? It is about... 50 foot wide and it goes about 60 foot in it's pretty oh, sweet large <laughs> uh i can help uh stand at the back of the cave okay i shall move to the back of the cave i can't swim by the way <laughs> yeah, you'd not need to swim i'm gonna i'm gonna spit out and cast create water on it creating uh rain in a 30 foot cube at the back of the cavern okay um as you spit, mutter a few words, you watch as what looks like sourceless, gently dripping water from the roof that wasn't once there. And as you look up for a few seconds as it drips, there's a few more coming from various places at the top of the roof. And then it eventually turns into a light drizzle and then an absolute downpour of water. <laughs> and I'm dancing around in all the water now and uh, washing my feet and gleefully uh, uh, washing my feet and sitting down in the water and having lots of fun in this water, cleaning in between my toes. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. I'm loving it. It's fantastic. I'd, I'd, I might join in. I, I'm pretty sure I smell from eight days in here. <laughs> I'm going to go and start trying to clean myself. <laughs> With, with the chains on, um, like. Laura's gonna stay very sort of far away, watching, quite concerned as to what's going on currently. Stool kind of backs up in your hand a little bit as to about your forearm. Um, like looked at it and, and yeah. Like, well, these are certainly an odd folk that we're looking at. I'm dancing around in the water, happy as Larry. <laughs> Snake man, what is your name? My name is Ilan, and I come from the great sorceress of Asha. That was my uh, name. I've never um, heard of this, this sorceress. Was the greatest sorcerer in our clan. Ah, that may make sense why I've never heard them. What what sort of magic do you do? I primarily do ice magic, but I can do a bit of everything. Yeah, you've got a lot of ice in this uh, team right now. Yeah, Artic, well... Artic then uses ice very effectively too. Yes, that was uh, most helpful. Thank you, uh, Adequan. No problem. Oh, so you do talk? Yes. Oh. Well. Thank he you is very most much ferocious for fighter. Out. He does not need to talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. If he doesn't need to, he doesn't have to, I guess. Well, uh, I suppose if we're all ready, let's start making uh, our way back to... Uh, Wherever we're going. What is the place we're going called? Um, Pepito? It's 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 called Graxler. It's my it's my home. Quite pleasant, quite pleasant indeed. Uh for this place, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's where we'll be heading. Drow there. Hmm? Drow, is there any there? <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll be safe from those sorts of uh, people. 
good. Right. I do, not, do not want to run into any of them, especially yeah. while chained. Let's thank the lords that you guys actually took the south passage because that's the one that I know. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it is definitely luck. Mm. Yeah. It's fate. It's fate, you see. We're, you're, you're destined to help me because I'm admittedly helpless. <laughs> Yeah. Not all, not everybody is helpless. You useful in your own ways, I'm sure. Well, I'm normally quite good with a weapon or two, but I haven't had the chance to get my hands on one. Would love to. Would absolutely love to. Maybe we'll find some on the way. <laughs> Who knows? What weapon well, do you uh... do you like to use most? Oh, 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 there's there's like a hook thing that I like to use sometimes. It's like a you throw it out and it hooks onto someone and then you pull them towards you. It's great. That sounds crazy. Sounds pretty crazy. Yeah, it's it's the weapon training of my kind. Uh, it's a little short spear, a little short spear. We're admittedly we're we're awful with them, <laughs> but we designed them, and the Dero are quite a prideful bunch. <laughs> right. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Let's let's yeah move on. Yeah, lead the way, people. Lead steps to the front and this about four foot man begins to guide you um in terms of gameplay there are three different paces you guys can take uh there are fast normal or slow uh which one are you guys thinking of doing uh, i think we should start slow probably the best idea just, we don't really know what's down here, so uh it's a good plan I'll go second in the order so I can, you know, keep a big eye out. Good shout. Let's do a marching order as well. Uh, so you can be second in the order. You guys should see your tokens here. Uh, who wants to be at the front? I'll go first. I'm happy to be at the uh, front. Bupido will be going first because he knows his way around. <laughs> yes, he will. And I think I have the best um, reactions. Right. You also can't um, see. Well, that's true. true. <laughs> <laughs> as blind as bat. Yes. <laughs> um, we uh, put you in the middle then, Mr. Feet Washer. <laughs> <laughs> I have the clean feet. feet. I'm a happy man. <laughs> right. Good you are. <laughs> Am I going to have to waste a spell slot every morning to keep your feet clean? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to keep Please, me happy? No. Uh, uh, Laura, where do you think you're going? Um... Laura, uh, this isn't. Bill. This doesn't just have to be single file as well. Uh, Laura, I'll be next bring to up the rear um, with the uh, stool on his shoulder. All right. Um, okay. So I'll put a little stool there. <laughs> uh, what about the others? Where do you want to go? I'll go more towards the front. Okay. I'll put you next to Miles. Makes okay. Sense, you know. Yeah. I've just realized and my then, uh, bar is in the wrong color. I'm going right. to be here. Uh, green is the right color. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, yes. I'll put it back then. Um, you put it out on Yeah. No, the uh, health Went color. Green. Oh. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is the order as you're continuing along. And if you're going at a slow pace, everyone can go ahead and make a stealth check for me. Okay. Ooh. Um, by the way, for oh. these sorts of roles, uh, stool will be determined by you, Lora, basically, because right, you're okay. just carrying him along. It's like he'll be there, so. Yeah. First roll of the uh, session. Okay. That's Natural deep. twenty. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, we've had a we've had a varying load. Let's do uh, Buffado's. Buffado got a six. Great. Um, Okay. I think Elon so... must be singing. <laughs> um, da, da, da. So, Buppido got a six. Parlamov, you got a 23. Miles, you got a tw natural, natural 20. 20. You two. 23. Adequan, you got. What did you get for stealth? Okay. Uh, you're also muted. So. Sorry, I wasn't here for that. I. Right. Quickly. Just roll a stealth check for me. Everyone's going. Incognito, Yulang got a seven, Lora got a six, which means still got a six. Overall, eh, <laughs> this isn't an amazing check for the day. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so what about Shushar with this still? Or is he he went away, didn't nope. he? He left. Shushar went a different way. Following his destiny, I suppose. Um, so you guys, despite traveling, um, and you're at a slow pace, some of you, uh, Palomar and Miles, uh, disguising yourselves fairly well and keeping the rest of the team somewhat quiet, but a large majority are not exactly helping in the stealth front. Um, so you guys can... Basically, do you guys want to get anything done today? Like, is there a goal? Do you want to be specifically foraging for resources, uh, crafting a few things, make sure if spell components, there's mechanics for all of it? I want to get out of these chains. <laughs> okay, make a dexterity or strength check. Uh, th this isn't like, you don't need to do that and then that's you done for the day now. However, you will only get one for one a day. So go ahead and make a dexterity or strength check. Oh, well, I was going to try and find some tools or something that can get us out of these manacles. Ah, right. okay. That was, that was my goal. I'm going to attempt to slip Which? out with a six. Yeah, I'll try as well. Anyone who's want to try, dex. dexterity or strength check? 19. Yes. 19. 19. 10. Um, as you all begin to try and like shove your way out of the bindings as you're beginning to walk, scaling the like a 10 foot wide pathway that arcs around the side of this large cavern. None of you are managing to find a way to squeeze out. Um, it's very difficult to get out of these thick manacles. Are these manacles restricting our movement in any way? Uh, no, however, you are considered restrained while you have them on, okay. which will come into play soon. Um, but you, uh, Palomar, did you say you wanted to try and forage for perhaps some like something that's going to help us get out of them? Break the way out. Yeah, my goal um, is to try so and get out of these. Be, this would be searching for improvised thieves' tools components. So go ahead and make an investigation check for the course of today to look around and see if you can find anything that will help. Investigation. That. Oh, that's useless for me, I'm afraid. Sixth, uh, unfortunately, throughout the entire day, you don't seem to find anything that will help you along the way with weaseling your way out. Um, so yeah. I'm going to uh, um, take some of the normal mushrooms that we can eat, start building some of them up. Okay. And looking for right, some so sort you're going to of... be foraging? Yeah, foraging for food. Um, I'm going to ask you, since to start off with, you still don't properly understand the general fungi, flora, fauna, yeah. the area. So make a nature check for me to start off with to nature deduce some check. like. Nature, 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 plus one. Uh, 14. Uh, 14. Okay, I'll say. You gain a decent amount of knowledge of some of the things that you should touch or not touch, so I'm not going to give you sort of disadvantage on looking around for various resources. Um, and head and make a survival check. Which one? Um, and a survival check. And because of your yeah, background, take advantage for me. Oh, that's good you said advantage. <laughs> because yeah. I rolled a two. Oh, natural 19. So oh. survival plus three. Yeah. 22. Uh, in which case, as you're foraging, because you got a 22, you get enough food for four people. <laughs> You've gone all weird. Yeah, he's gone out. Oh, yeah. The adventure. Now. This day. Bye. No. Gone <laughs> completely. Am I back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So enough food for four okay. people. All right. Yeah, enough food for four people. So just mark down. <laughs> four food <laughs> rations. Yeah, I'm trying to sort of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Becoming a robot. 
Four actions. Yes. Oh, he's, he's gone completely still now. Yeah, he's just going to leave again and say, he's going to drop. <laughs> oh. God, the tech issues of being a <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> as well because like every now and then there'll just be like a slight like cut and it'll be in a different position entirely oh now he's loading in Oh, there it goes. Oh, hello. Hello. Am I doing okay now? Uh, no. Seems to be a bit better. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you're better. Um, so that's your efforts for the day. You kind of pick around a few of the plants, pick up the good mushrooms, make sure to stay away from the bad ones. You get at one point what looks like a mushroom filled, somewhat watery broth that's kind of been brewing in like an alcove. That you managed to like scoop out, deduce that it's safe, but isn't going to taste amazing, and you managed to get some of that. Um, so yeah, that's your that's your efforts for the day. What about everyone else? What do you want to do? Uh, Laura, uh, mainly because of his uh, sort of tribal um upbringing is going to try and find any sort of like small animal uh, or like life form or something that he can perhaps try and hunt. Okay. Just to uh, see if there's like any sort of like game in the area. Hmm. Okay. Uh, for that, I'll say go ahead and make hmm. I'll say a survival check for this. Okay. Which I don't think is amazing for you. Uh, well, I mean, I'm proficient in it, but it's a minus one, so it's plus one now. Ah, and an eight. eight. Um, throughout the course of your journey, you manage to find a single, what looks like black spiked rabbit, like a mix of a porcupine and a rabbit. And as you're kind of walking down, you're at this relatively large opening. You can see that like spiraling stalactites are hovering over you in this like open area. And you can see one little like one of those rabbits scurries along and stops right in the middle of the road, stares at you, Laura, and the eyes are a piercing red that shift to green. And it's just constantly it seems to be staring so by a, an eldritch blast at it <laughs> easy enough with one hit it's an unmoving target <laughs> you absolutely destroy this little weird rabbit <laughs> porcupine and the eyes remain green but the spikes that were kind of unfilled <laughs> retract inwards um right, so you got okay. Uh, one day worth of rations from that. That was a little rabbit. All right, awesome. Well, I was gonna take that. Mm. We um, almost have enough food now for one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job I'm not a big eater. Um, what do other people want to contribute to the adventure so far? I try and find some like sort of thieves tools or lock pick or something like that. All right. Uh yeah, go ahead and make an investigation check for that. On the way hunting for whatever improvised thing you find. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh in which case, over the course of the day, gathering a few like blistered pieces of rock, you shave them down a bit. This could be used. You take off a couple of other like weird what look like spiked leaves 
he seems sharp enough to penetrate a lock. You have makeshift thieves tools. Um, okay. What about uh, Adequan? What are you up to? Uh, would I know if we could eat any of the uh, like fey or fiends, that sort of stuff, or not? That would be. You in could there. eat a fey or a fiend. Yeah. Um. Hmm. That's extremely specific, but I know why you're doing it. Go yeah. ahead and make a nature check with advantage. Uh, where is my nature? There oh. it is. Weird character. Of yeah. 16. <laughs> uh, yeah, Blood Hunter stuff. You imagine a majority of fays and fiends probably aren't edible. Okay. Uh, that wasn't you doing anything for the yeah. day. That was just a little information gathering to see what you'd be doing, but yeah, maybe maybe not a yeah. hag or a fairy or a yeah. demon. Not exactly edible. Okay, um, I'll say I'll go out with Laura to try and hunt stuff. Okay, uh, also go ahead and make a survival check for me, okay. please. 21! Wow. Wow. Okay then, put me You As Laura you Eldritch Blast, that one little bunny. Uh, about an hour into the rest of the journey, uh, Adequen kind of goes off the path a little bit, searches in this relatively dark outcropping, and finds about ten of those rabbits. And you just start going to town, hunting them, and killing each one of them that you can get. About half of them manage to scurry off, but with your quick movements and your good-ass dexterity, I'll say... You got six days worth of rations from that. <laughs> As he sort of comes back, uh, Laura's just going to kind of look over at him and just be like, all right, fair enough, very impressive. Whatever. Are you, I told uh, you. He's very sort of good skill of, fighter. <laughs> you some sort of uh, hunter or something, then? Sorts. Fair enough. Well, you make a crap job at it. Well done. Thank you. We we usually hunt a bigger game than this, but <laughs> this is Anything, good for now. Uh, that might be from down here at all. Um, usually no, not from down here, but. It could be from down here, depending on what our information was good or bad. Fair enough. I'm How guessing. Did you that... down here? Well, um, I was. Uh, I'm from very far up north. Um, I was uh, in a outcropping. When uh, a blizzard hit, uh, there's, well, that doesn't matter. Essentially, I was sitting in the cave and out of nowhere, they uh, came and attacked me. Managed to fend myself for a while, but, well, there's only so much you can do. The pesky poison got to you, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it took a while to sink in, but, mm. well, there were, there were plenty of them buggers. <sighs> sure as soon as I got hit, I was out like a light. <laughs> yeah. You guys sound like you're some sort of uh, contracted work, I guess? Uh, not contracted, but work for sure. This is this is our to, uh, right. to be done here is what we are meant to be doing. Not with you, with our own people, but <laughs> they didn't make it past the right. ambush. So I'm assuming you were looking for something and down here, yes. But we never right. made it inside. Well what we did interesting. Uh well, that is yet to be seen. Although, right. hopefully soon some interesting developments will happen. 
Well, let's hope for the best, I suppose. It won't be for the best. I see. Hold on, more. Right, then. What did what are you doing down here? How did you end up in this place? I was poisoned, similar to you, and woke up in the uh, in the prison for for no apparent reason. What I have no idea that? how. What my memory of this my memory of this is very vague. I know I was hunting, and whilst hunting, was hit by this poison dart. The hunter became the hunted, I see. It was, yes. That's very unfortunate. The one that intrigues me most though is Elan. You you don't seem to be affected by the poison. No, no, the dark poison doesn't tend to affect me too much. Hence the black eye and the bit of a blood eyes. Uh, what were you doing before you got captured? Hunting. I'm part of a bounty hunter crew from my clan. So everybody here it was pretty much hunting something or another. Well, uh... Suppose hunting, yeah. It would make sense <laughs> why not. we're also good at hunting. <laughs> yes, that that makes sense. Walking forward, he's looking around. He's... <laughs> no, I have no idea what you're about. I am terrible. I walked into the stupidest situation and now I'm here. <laughs> what, the... what situation was this? Well, I was out doing some foraging with a one of my hook spears, a tradition among us, and it went south, and I took a crossbow bolt to the neck. <sighs> Jesus, are you still alive? <laughs> well, I, um, you know how I said that I'm not the, the best at fighting or anything? Us, us, uh, us Dero are quite durable, just like our somewhat dwarvish counterparts. Uh, so you're not very good in fight, but you can take it. One or two. <laughs> That's pretty useful. I'm, I'm, I'm good with poison. I'm good with poison. Uh, they, they had to shoot one, and it took a while, but I was down. And I ended up in the cell. Luckily, the friendly guy was... Uh, I wasn't expecting to be so welcomed in prison. Everyone was quite nice. Apart from right. Well, he doesn't matter anymore. He's a different story. Uh, he's he's dead now. Yeah, I I guess he's dead. Yes, <laughs> sort of deserved it. He's a bit of a dick. Quite scary, isn't it? You know, any of us could just die. With family to get back yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, uh, any of us could die. As soon as I look over to a uh, lower. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I'm. I can feel your looks. All right. I wasn't at my my fighting form. Okay. Hopefully, we don't get caught out of like that again by beasts and poison. And, and hopefully, we'll be better equipped now. Yes. Hopefully so. How long till we get to this place of yours? Oh, it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it might be a month. Uh, but would you, it's what might be what? A month? A month. A month. We cannot I... be walking with chains on us for a month. Can we, we not get these off? A month in total. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> they took me far, far away from my home. It was an awful journey. They said I was going to be shipped off. To some Menzo Berenzan. Didn't sound great. It's. You've heard of Menzo Berenzan, right? I've heard of not of this place now. No. I don't think anyone here has. We're not from around here, you see. We're from the surface world. 
Well, um, I suppose that's the only thing that constitutes for a city in the Underdark, uh, run by the drow, and they like to use people for, I think, sacrifices or slave labor, or both. I'm they they have say to avoid there here. now. Mm, perhaps for now, at least. I mean, there's certainly a lot of useful things there for folk like yourselves who are same adventure. But mm, I couldn't recommend it since you've literally just made enemies of the drow. <laughs> so, what you're saying is they were going to sell us off for slave labor or mm -hmm. sacrificial stuff or both. Yeah, I think they conduct some strange magic. I'm not fully knowledgeable about magic, but they were going to do some strange magic and they're going to uh, help the world works it's the drow though you can assume that it's probably not helping the world and it's fa in fact it's probably helping helping their weird uh spider god thing that they like right um, well it's probably best we stay away then for at least a little while until we get stronger perhaps forever i do not fancy spider death at yeah, all the politics of that aren't favorable i'm it's scared of going there. <laughs> uh, as should you all be. There's some powerful people there, I imagine. The drow are not to be trifled with. Mm. I have a quick question. What is, the, what is the closest town to here? The old settlement? Closest town? I think that's... Uh, I think that's Slubodop. How far is Slubodop? Well, it's about eight days, but we're walking in the opposite direction, and if you want to go back there, the only road that I know so far is to go right back into Velkendorf, and uh, maybe not. Right, well, where's the closest town in the general direction of where we're going? Uh, um, you know, I really don't get around much. You, you, you think I'm one of your adventuring types, I'm really not. <laughs> well, they I'm took going. you through all those places, so... Surely you know some places. <laughs> uh, well, I was blacked out for a lot of it. Uh, but I think that if we took a different way, it would be a bit of a backtrack, maybe half the day of travel we've just taken, and then we take a left and go along, then we'll get to Slubludop. It may be best bet. We need to resupply. It's if we have to make it through. We can't walk for a whole month with nothing. Not, not sure about that, really. I, <laughs> I want to go home. Uh, yes, but it is a slight detour. You will get home. Don't worry. Well, I mean, <laughs> we all want to get home, you see. So I'd recommend you stop whatever it is you're thinking about. All right? I'd recommend that you... Just suck it up like the rest of us and get on your way, all right? <laughs> uh, would be foolish to refuse you, Mr. Oh, your door. Okay, yes, I am coming with you, I suppose. Um, but you won't have an official guide anymore, I'll warn. <laughs> well, uh... I'll leave it up to the rest of you. We could either spend eight days traveling and get to somewhere closer, somewhere that would be able to hopefully be quite hospitable towards us. Or we could spend an entire month's worth of walking and end up in somewhere very far away. I opt for eight days. I do not want to go a month. Well, the sooner the better, I think. What about the there, rest of you? There was there was detour to this place, yes. You go back half day, turn left instead of right. Yeah, we won't have made progress today, but um, I saw some of you being quite creative, you know. Um, the, what are you, human snake? I don't know. Uh, you made some pretty cool stuff. Um, you're useful. Some of you got some resources, some food. That's good. Uh, yeah, we should be good. 
Yeah, just a detour. Yeah, just a detour. I, I know the detour, but once we go on to the detour, I don't know where we're going from there. <laughs> we'll all find out together. It will be okay. Don't worry. Right. You, you have us to protect you. Ah, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. I need, <laughs> I need, uh, I need protection. <laughs> Maybe you I'm can make one of those weird hook things. Mm. That's my be cool. I yes. What yeah, do you need for this? Um. Well, so as I can look around for a few things. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. There might be some things around here. And as you're continuing to walk around, at the moment you've kind of stopped, and you're in this large mushroom-filled alcove. That's kind of. You see that this this area, uh, moving on into the next, is almost gently lit from nowhere. And you get a bit of clarity. And anyone without dark vision as well can see pretty fine in here. And as if you were outside, at least a little bit. Um, and he's kind of shuffling around, looking behind mushrooms. And let's see if he gets anything good. 13. Uh, he finds what looks like a long piece of rope that he just takes out. <sighs> well, <laughs> this is one component, I suppose. Pose. <laughs> okay, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, Where on earth it. did that come from? Yeah, behind some mushrooms, I think. Yeah. Where I was going to have a look down there. Um, you sh push your hand to the side, look down, and you can see what appears to be a small stash of what looks like an adventurer's full kit and attire, as well as all their resources. Oh, well, you don't mind if I do, Laura. I was going to take all of that. Okay, so you might not find use for some of this. You find what looks like a wooden staff. Um, you find what seems to be a relatively, like, lavish white ensemble, kind of like a cape and a cloak, uh, some silver outlining. Uh, you find what looks like a small circlet that you can place around your head. And finally, you find what looks like a large pouch of all sorts of various assorted crap. But you do push aside one thing and realize, oh, there's the Ivan Newt there. Take it out. I could use this for hex. Shuffle it around. Hey, cup of water. Nice. And just keep shuffling through. There's spell components in here. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> is there a sound? <laughs> Laura yeah. uh, is going to take out, like a, one of the new eyes and uh, the cup of water. Uh, does anyone else uh, need anything uh, out of this? There's a. Is it like uh, what sort of what is the, what's the staff look like? Uh, the staff appears to be a relatively fine wooden staff carved out of a thick, but as you touch it, it seems spongy wood. Uh, it's kind of disturbing to grasp. Um, with, oh, someone's gone. Who was that? Uh, oh. Oh, they're back. They're back. Um, yeah, you. Yeah, it's a weird, uh, spongy wood. Like it still functions as wood, but yeah. Huh. Um. Does anyone want a staff or anything? Uh, no, I'm good without staff. I would like to look in the back for the components. Yeah, sure. Like slides it over. Um. Looking at the cape, what sort of stuff's on it? Uh, you see it's like a lavish, long-flowing cape, silver outlining. There seems to be the occasional little star, like, embroidered onto it in, like, blue. Uh, it seems pretty regal, but also kind of patchy. Hmm. Maybe we take it in case it gets cold. This person here no longer needs it. Well, I certainly don't need it, and 
Laurel just sort of throw it back for whoever to pick it up. Uh, the circlet. Uh, I'm going to pick up the circlet and look at that as well for any sort of weird details. Um, it appears to be a thick iron circlet, not like an elegant, dainty one. It kind of surrounds the head, looks almost elven in design, kind of like a little gap at the top with like it's it's made out of a uh silverish textured although you grip it and it's a bit like less sturdy than that um vines almost that intertwine to form that circle that looks pretty cool uh, i've got no need for any of this i uh, take, i'll take i take the circle too well, well, good. hold on, hold on, before we start giving away everything to everyone, all right? I think that a certain someone needs something, okay? Stool, little friend, pick him up from my shoulder and look at him. Stool, you've been very good help for us. How's about you take this and put the uh, circlet on him? You gently crown the little mushroom man as you place it atop his mushroom head. It gets on and it stays pretty well, but it's like here on his head. Um, oh. And he's looking around and he jumps and it gets loose and falls off. And oh. he runs over and like scrambles towards it, jumping off you, and like tries to pick it up with his little little feet, but can't. And Laura puts it back on his uh, head. Uh, it's a bit of a loose fit, but, well, you'll grow into it. I think the problem is his head's too big. Uh, I don't know. He's a mushroom. <laughs> Something will happen. Turns its front side towards Miles and just jumps once very slightly. <laughs> It looks very strange. Would you like blanket, little one? I'm going to put the cape up and give it to him. <laughs> Bobs up and down to simulate a nod as you wrap it around him. There you go. Uh, it kind of trails off a up. foot below. <laughs> it, it, it trails off like a foot below his feet and just kind of goes like a wedding veil on the floor as he runs. And he's running around. Um, and at, at one point, he kind of like stops at the end of the chamber and does a jump and suddenly stands up very straight and does like almost a superhero pose the best he can with that hand <laughs> yeah so it's it's just kind of like a you look very <laughs> strong little man very uh, you can't take everything for yourself we have to share now we're a big group so yeah, let's keep the cape it, it makes no odds to it. I, I, I think the cape suits you best yeah all right who wants the uh Iron circlet. I uh, can look after it. It may do something cool later on. But this right yeah. now, it's, it's, it looks cool. Knock okay. yourself out. And whilst you're at it, there's that component pouch for you. Ooh, that's a sexy component pouch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Add a component pouch. Note down everything that everyone's taking. I'll note down that Stool now has a badass cake. Stool has a badass cake. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what Stool do I need? Tibera, let's go. I need um bat fur a U leaf. Uh, a component pouch covers if you're a spellcaster that needs components, just dig into it, it's there. Oh sweet. I'll just keep yeah, so it's, it's kind of like a magical focus, except you don't need to hold on to anything, you just kind of do the thing. I'll I'll tie it around my waist. Okay. Neat. Like a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Like a magical fanny pack. <laughs> magical fanny pack. Um, if nobody's going to take that staff. I shall take the staff from uh, from that adventurous pack. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can add that as a quarter staff. <laughs> so, um, you you can take a quarter staff, which is very good for a monk. I might point out it's a d8 if you wield it with two hands on your first attack. So you can club something and follow it up. Um, and it and you realize that it's kind of easier to handle. It's lighter than a normal one. 
and it almost seems to bend in and around your hands a little bit, like it's contorting to yours and allowing for better blows. Um, yeah, it's not a plus one or anything, but it, it's made out of a different material. Um, or taking the last few things, Bupido's kind of tapping his foot impatiently. All right. Yep, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back the other way. Uh, there'll be a turn. Um, do any of you guys have any way of um, tracking time? Because I've never been this tired in my life and I've lost my body cock. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to look up at the, at the roof of the cave. Yeah, yeah it might be like 8 o'clock at night. Roughly. That is a very hazardous guess, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> I all mean, right. here well, looks I like an all right place to stop for the night. And if we encounter that, well, whoever this stuff belongs to, we can uh, ask him where the nearest town is in exchange for his stuff. Hmm. Huh. Um, we'll take a sleep. I mean, uh, How long have we been traveling for, actually? It's been about eight hours of travel, solid, and at least. And you guys, I'll answer your time questions for about a week of in-game time, but you're going to start losing time real quick unless someone has the key mind feet. <laughs> Damn, oh, that, I that feat is going to be like, <laughs> super useful in this campaign. <laughs> I'm playing a character in this who has I, that. Oh, I almost geez. took it, but I took Observant instead. You fool! <laughs> right. You idiot. You would always know what direction I, I is your <laughs> I thought it'd suit him better, being as he's like all about seeing shit. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Just go with what makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah, so... You guys... Are you guys going to take a long rest in here? It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a long rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as you guys are taking a long rest, is anyone keeping watch? I will, seeing as I don't have to sleep that long. All right. Um, so, for the first part, and, and Stool kind of stays up with you, waddles over to you as you go. You see occasionally he, like, as you're sitting there with him, he jumps up real quick and does, like, a little zoom around the entire chamber very slowly. He just, like runs around the whole thing. Um, and then when he gets back to you, he like does a jump and waits for your reaction. I, I won't speak anything because he's nervous around him, but I'll just go like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, go ahead and make a perception check for the night for me. All righty, uh, perception. 21. 21, you have a very keen eye on the entire place. For the duration of your, you know, four hours of extra time. Um, but eventually, as you go to rest, and I mean, this wasn't planned, so I guess, uh, who are you waking up to do a, a, the second portion? Uh, I'll wake up Miles. Okay, Miles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Working up. Uh, so, uh, I, I will nice say, <laughs> if, if um, Stool wasn't there, this would be like an exhaustion sort of thing. But Stool is just constantly keeping an eye out whenever you guys need to take a little rest. With Stool's whopping 11 perception, you got his eyes on everything. Um, that's an, a good roll, because his wisdom's 11, and he doesn't have proficiency. He's, he's doing okay. He's look, keeping an eye out. But Miles, as you're woken up, Stool kind of does the same show-offy thing to you and zooms around the entire chamber um, oh, like a little superhero with the cape billowing. You look like you could save the world with that cape on. Does a jump. One of those yeah, half assed yeah. superhero poses. Yeah. <laughs> you look almost as strong as Laura now. Jumps like three times in quick succession and then <laughs> plops back down and watches. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for the night for me. 17. Oh, 18, sorry. Plus five. 17? 18. 18. Okay. Um, oh, we've lost him. <laughs> um, we're all dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're in another plane. Run out of nowhere and steal our arms. 
Wait, quickly. Do the stool. There we go. Oh. Yo, you did oh, stool. Did stool. I cannot see. I cannot see stool. No, yeah. I'll send it to the group chat. Send it to the group <laughs> chat, yes. I'll send it to the Discord, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Um, Laura, you might need to... I'm going to tell Laura to look for this afterwards. I'll put it on the YouTube Discord. <laughs> so we'll, we'll all see what stool looks like. Um, uh, yeah, when you use browser Discord, it signs you out after an hour, so I need to be careful of that. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's weird. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. It, to be, I've never had a travel sequence be so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that, I mean, yeah. to be fair, like, hunting and foraging for stuff is, like, pretty neat. Yeah. It's a necessity. Yeah. Um, you will have to feed Buppido, so keep mark of that, but oh, it still yeah. doesn't make nothing. There we go. Oh, yes! Look at him! <laughs> yes! Yes, my boy! <laughs> I love him. We must protect Stool at all costs. Um, <laughs> like a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, and I believe, Laura, you have a short sword on you, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miles, throughout yes. the night, as you're keeping watch, you hear a bit of movement from behind you, and you turn around, and you can see that rummaging through Laura's possessions currently is Buppido, and as he grabs. Lara short sword looks over. Oh, hi there. What are you doing? I need a weapon. <laughs> I can give I'm you a weapon. Hey, maybe you wait and ask him in the morning if you can have it. Uh, I can uh, give you a weapon for now if you need a weapon that bad. Uh, well, just <laughs> what if I get in a tough spot? Yeah, this, this guy could punch his way out of it and he kind of walks up to you. Yes, but he also could slash his way out of it better than probably you could. You've got to play <laughs> yeah. to us. You've got to play to us strengths here. If we get into a fight, you can hide. He can fight at the roof. Well, good at hiding. All right. All right. Um, we'll make you. Okay, a, we'll okay. make you a hunting we'll... weapon. We we'll make you your weapon of people, and you can throw it and stuff nice. later. Just making me. Anxious is all like, I'm don't normally worry, used to walking don't. around with at least one weapon. Don't worry, I'm going to hand him the dagger that I had, the makeshift dagger. Here's a, here's a dagger. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> don't worry. Puts it away. You don't need to steal. If you want something, ask. He might not need it. He might need it more than you. You've got oh. to work together to get out of this. I need to get used to having friends that don't want to kill me. <laughs> And he puts the short sword back in Lara's possession and goes to sleep with the dagger. Um, after a while, you guys all wake up. However, I would like uh, Lara to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is why I wish I picked, like, Warlock as my first class and not Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What is it? No, oh. no. Three. Um, okay. You wake up, Laura, and you look around a little bit, and everything in here it's just so fucking funny. Oh my god, look at his face. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> why are you um, laughing? So what forth and so forth. What, what are you laughing for? <laughs> I've got what no is idea. going on with a big man? <laughs> I've got no idea, but whatever I find out what it is, <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> 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 okay, that was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but you literally can't stop laughing. I don't know. It's quite funny. If you uh, ask me, I don't know. It's kind of funny. 
<laughs> I looked at everyone else like, eh? <laughs> and everybody know why this man is laughing so much? Maybe I'm going to check the uh, the mushrooms around to see if any of them are like poisonous or something. <laughs> All right. Is this like a detect poison and disease or is this just... Yeah, I'm going to use, yeah, detect poison and disease as a ritual. So I'll take a couple right. of minutes to uh, do okay. this. Yeah. And um, so the ritual will take 10 minutes, I believe. Yep. Uh, Laura continuously giggles at everything until after about three minutes where suddenly, Laura, nothing's funny anymore. And you realize that you've just been laughing at nothing and you have no idea why. What bloody hell was that? Oh, you stopped laughing. Uh, it may be poisonous mushrooms. I don't know. Uh, what did you eat really last night? Anything last night. Uh, it's not maybe a... because we slept in them, maybe. Possibly. I mean, I've not even had my pork your rabbit thing <laughs> yet. I'll have to have that tomorrow, I guess. Oh, well, puts that, like, away somewhere. Uh, is, is there anything Laura can see that perhaps like that like anything weird yeah uh go ahead and make an arcana check for me arcana check uh, that's a 12. Oh. you have no idea what the heck is going on with you um <laughs> and i'd like for you somewhere to mark on your character sheet that you have gained one insanity point <laughs> there is madness mechanics, boys. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no. oh my god! No, I can't. Ha no. <laughs> we're, we're all going to oh get crazy god. down uh -oh. here. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Um. That 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 only affected you short term just then, but mark down that you have that, and we'll keep that. Uh. Okay. So. Name insanity source other source type. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Description I am going insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Laura, you don't feel anything beyond that, but that's just a way of tracking stuff for me. Thank you. Um, so yeah, um. And as you finish casting Detect Poison and Disease in the area, you notice that those same green fluorescent mushrooms ping, but nothing else that you guys have been eating in the area has would have affected him. Mm, maybe you just woke up feeling funny. <laughs> I don't know that, that there is no got, poison I've or disease no eating idea. things here. Yeah. Ho hopefully it doesn't happen to much. Came over me. I don't know. Maybe it was just a a quick thing. Maybe I'm sleep deprived or yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Something. Yes. Uh, Maybe oh... after we find some things and you can kill them with your big muscles, you'll feel better. Uh, I've got this cup of water. I was going to use it for spell stuff, but uh, whatever. And I'll uh, drink the cup of water and remove that spell component. Okay. Um, post torture stress disorder. Sure. I mean, I can I can literally make water like super easy. Oh, can I wash my feet? I need to wash the feet. We're on another day. Come on. Oh, if he's gonna wash his friggin' feet, I'll get another cup of water as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's making me happy. I can wash my feet. <laughs> hey, well, was there was there a water prefer, sack in that uh, adventurer's prefer, uh, rain? Or would you prefer just water on the floor? Anything, as long as I can wash my feet. Uh, oh, I get to get happy. I get to get happy. I'm just going to take one of the droplets out of that cup that he was just drinking from, and then cast create water again. Okay. Uh, are you doing it as like rain again? Yeah, as rain. All right. Once again, rain falls down from the roof slowly, but eventually turning into quite the deluge. And again, I'm happy as Larry. I'm in there. I can wash my feet. And I'm 
sitting uh, on the floor and rubbing my bum like a dog on the floor <laughs> as I'm walking into the water. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this this man, man is extraordinarily strange. I feel like I'd be laughing at that, but now <laughs> I don't find anything really that funny. Uh, anyway, uh, Laurel's going to extend his hand into the rain and just kind of like zone out for a second and think about what happened and then like like start to feel water like flowing from his hands and looks over at the cup like realizing it's like overflowing and he's just like oh and then like drinks a bit and takes it with him okay um, anybody else need yeah you guys water? can like fill water skin with this and stuff uh, I, don't, I don't have a water skin we don't have water skins. <laughs> None of us have got water skins at the minute. We go, we're, we're a bit lean on equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are heading back off in the other direction that yes. Buffalo guided you, yes? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see how good Buffalo is at guiding you now, because he doesn't know the exact directions anymore. Oh, boy. Let's do a survival check for him, shall we? One. <laughs> oh no! No. Bad, bad, bad. Following Bopado's guidance to the general area, you see about an hour into the journey, he's like, mm, that way, and just walks in a different direction. And then after ten more minutes, he's like, no, 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 and turns to all of you, and he's like, nope, it was the other way, and just starts pushing past each of you to go. Oh, this place is irritating. And then after an hour, turns to you all. I've completely lost my sense of direction. Oh, geez. you're joking, right? <laughs> I wish I was. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Oh. Um, this is not good. Thank you for echoing me, Mr. Miles. <laughs> I needed uh, that. Don't mm. worry, don't worry. It's, it won't be terrible. We didn't know where we were anyway, so. Okay. Let's choose a direction and follow it. Choose it for me. <laughs> I'm at your mercy. And kind of moves to about here in the order. <laughs> uh, I'm going to choose the way that he hasn't been yet. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so I'd like you to go ahead and make a survival check. This is less following specific directions and more just finding your way around yeah. the area without getting into a bunch of dead ends. Survival. 13. Uh, a 13. Okay. You don't get lost. Uh, today might not be eventful in terms of getting anywhere. So, <laughs> um, Miles, you are doing guiding things. What about everyone else? What does everyone else want to do on this day? Laura's just gonna kind of be a bit out of it, uh, like every now and then, just kind of like talking a little bit to stool, but just sort of be kind of out of it, thinking about uh, like who who the man was that left all of his stuff in a hole, <laughs> and why would he do that? Because that's a waste of all of his stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's um, that's literally it, yeah. So no active. Okay, got it. Um Oh actually no. Uh Laura's gonna try and prepare the rabbit into rations at some point. Uh easy enough. Uh Miles, you turn around and as he's beginning to prepare it, you point out that it's safe to eat. Uh just mind the pincers. Um <laughs> and you don't need to do too much prep and you can just chow down. Um, t at this point, people are going to have to start eating, so everyone needs to consume one day of rations, so split that among yourselves and stuff, but Lora's got his own, so just for five total people. Five. Yeah. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's make some meat with some vegetable, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take two of my four rations out. I'm probably going to do the same uh, as Laura and turn mine into rabbit. It my rabbits into rations as well. Okay, so for the day, everyone's fed 
spiky rabbits at one point. Uh, with mushrooms. Say, yeah, with <laughs> mushrooms. Feed us, is that to feed us all? Yes, so you're fed for the day. Um, Yelan, at one point, you get one of the spikes caught in the middle of your teeth and kind of had to uh, 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 take it out. Would have been fatal if it got to the gum. Um, but, Jeez. yeah, you are fed. Um, <laughs> Can anybody cook very well here? I know I was okay, but uh, I don't know really. I wasn't much of a cook back home. I can, in a pinch, be okay, but I'm not the best cook. Although well, I could be. I mean, you could give it a go. It's At just this point. I'll eat anything. I'm hungry. It's just putting some stuff on a fire, really. Uh, I, yes, I guess. I guess for this, yes, for sure. To go black, scrape those bits off, and chow down. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys are fed for the day. Uh, that wasn't anyone's active thing. Just kind of preparing it probably yeah. took like ten minutes. So anyone yeah. who hasn't done anything, throw them at me. Um, well, I want to break out on my uh, manacles as well. All right. Yeah, we'll at least try. Try. We're all going to at least try again, I think. Okay. Um, before anyone starts trying, uh, Yilan has makeshift thieves tools now. Ooh. Which... Ooh. Oh, please. Good luck, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Do that. All right. So go ahead and make a dexterity check. And are you proficient with thieves tools? Yeah. Okay. okay. In which case, you add your proficiency to it. Um, so it's a dexterity check plus proficiency to try and break them out, and the DC is lower because you're specifically using these tools. Right, we'll um, we'll have to take that first one. So <laughs> it's not trying for everyone. <laughs> um, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So Miles, uh, yours are a bit stiff. Moving over mm -hmm. to who do you want to bust out? Try Adequin next. Okay, Adequin, you. To put your arms forward and pretty quickly you kind of insert that sharp leaf in take that spined bit of rock twizzle them together push hard and you break the lock within and the manacles slip off um well yeah. i see his were easy to do <laughs> <laughs> um and you can do it on palomov and then buffedo as well if you wanted oh, and both of them as well all right so palomov next Da, da, da. Ouch! Hey, um, natural one. You stick, in that leaf. <laughs> you stick in that leaf and kind of twizzle it around a bit and realize that as you're doing, you're kind of flaking it a little bit and you have to just take it out before it's too late. Um, all right. And then finally, Buppido. Um, you try and mess around with Buppido's things and he's putting his arms out and he's just like, just get it off me, get it off me, get it off me. And you do not manage to get it off him. Just got... Don't worry, about people. We still, we still, we chain brothers. <sighs> that doesn't sound preferable, but okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. And Buffalo is going to try and slip out himself, and just it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, bloody drow. I should try as well myself. Okay. Then try and give him the slip. Hey, Palomov, oh. you take the large band that's around your, um, that's around both of your arms, kind of put it up to your chest and pull upwards and it begins to give way and they just slip off. <laughs> How did you do this? They, they don't come undone. Well, uh, just a bit of concentration, a little bit of um, effort, and eventually I, I worked my way free. Yeah. Plus, it helps having very skinny hands. Of course. Yeah, I suppose that's what happens when you're quite nimble. Yeah, yeah. He gets to get out, doesn't he? I don't. It turns out he just yeah. broke his thumbs in the process. Uh, look, do you really want to get out? What yeah. thumbs? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get out. Really are, you gonna, are you going to stop complaining if we get you out? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just annoyed. Adequate. 
Do you remember that thing that we tried beforehand? Yep. Yeah, do you want to try that again? Gonna take my uh, short sword this time, prick my finger on it, and then spread it across his malachals okay. as well. Um, no blood right needed, I'll say, because you're not actively just making it go... Yeah. It's just like a little... <laughs> so you kind of apply the frost to the manacles and it slowly begins to spread and encase the chains in the ice. Lora uh, pulls out his short sword and goes, all right, uh, hold your arms out and stand back and is going to try and break it, uh, but with the hilt of the sword. Okay, go ahead and make a strength check for me. Okay, okay. That will be a 20. Ooh. Nice. And even the ice, the default DC is 20. You bring <laughs> the pummel down and smack it and push, and the bindings shatter outwards, and like bits of flaked ice begin to scatter across the floor. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you, big guy. Lara uh, <laughs> kneels down to uh, his level and in a sort of volume so that only uh, Buffalo can hear. He goes, if you keep complaining about that, you're not going to see your town. Stands up and then walks off. <laughs> ah. So, this is going to be just excited. He keeps walking. Um, all right, that was still just like a collective little RP moment, so everyone's still got a day of stuff to do. What do you guys want to do? Maybe did I get out of both hands? Oh, sorry, go on. No, carry on. I was going to say, did I get out of both hands and ankle shackles? Uh, yeah, you did. Everything. Okay! Wow. Abulas, no longer restrained! I feel free! Yeah. <laughs> I can run like the wind! <laughs> You certainly can. Uh, <laughs> Laura's going to look for more uh, porky bits. Uh, I'll go with as well. Rapines? Uh, Rapines? <laughs> let's call them Rapines. Um, Rapines. I'll go hunting for some as well. Um, Seems how I didn't get any before. Right. So all, all of you who are going to do that, go ahead and... Uh, make survival checks, each of you, and that will determine how bountiful you are. Why should we get like a nat 20 now? Oh, 17, yeah. that's okay. 17. Uh, Adequen, on the road, you find one more of those porcupine like rabbits and quickly take one, gut it, you're done. Uh, Laura, at this point, as you're entering, what looks to be, it, it looks to be quite a large, cavernous, almost mountainous uh, area. You can see off to the right a huge mountain going thousands of feet upwards. Uh, looking around, at the base of the mountain as you're kind of passing around it with Miles' guidance, um, you do see what look like a handful of purplish skinned with like some white stripes deer that are kind of minding their own business, grazing on what look like some of the mushrooms. Um, and Palamov, you find these as well, and very quickly manage to dispatch of them all through either Eldritch Blasting or Quarter Staffing or Punching. <laughs> um, and you guys got, uh, Adequen, you got one day. And Palamov and Lara, you got four days split between, no, eight days split between the two of you, so four days of rations each. Yes. Wait, so is it like... Uh... A single deer, or is it uh, a couple deer? There were about three, which is enough to feed, like, uh, all of you for a day and a half, pretty much. Okay. So four rations eat for each of you. Uh, Laura's going to um, have, uh, like, sling one over his shoulder uh, and have stool on the other. Uh, and turn around to uh, Palamov and say, uh, do you want to carry one of those, or are you uh, a bit worried about your feet getting dirty? I, I, I doubt I'll be able to even lift it, I'm afraid. Uh, it, it'll have to be dragged. Uh, well, 
as long as you don't go any over any sharp rocks or anything, you should be all right. If you end up doing that, you could accidentally uh, cut it open and all the entrails could come spilling out. And then, well, there's not much meat, is there, really? True, true. But I, I, I'm sure our uh, snake friend would like some grit for the shells. You never know. I don't ah, know if he's right. male or female, so... Um, Elan. Hello. Uh, do you mind helping us out here? With uh, one of these deer things. I, I, I'm unable to lift it, I'm afraid. I've managed to dispatch it, but I'm unable to lift it. I would. I, I need some assistance. Up your hand. Awesome. Okay. You guys kind of haul and gut the things that you need. Uh, if anyone would like hide armor, they can take that as well. However, it's not going to be cured and it's going to be disgusting. <laughs> Laura will... Aren't you in a chain shirt? Well, no. Laura's going to take the antlers okay. uh, of the... Uh, uh, of, like, or, like, one of the antlers off of the uh, uh, deer. And is just going to, like, sling that over his back. Uh, with, uh, like, okay. attach it to the rope that we found the other day as well. Neat. Um, so, yeah, there's the rations, and then there's also three sets of hide armor, should you wish to have it, but yeah, I imagine that. not many people would want it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I've already tried armor. Uh, it's no good for me. I'm going to help right. Bipedo um, look for parts for this weapon he's trying to make. Okay. Uh... Yeah, well, actually, you're the one tracking, so All that's right. your job oh, for the day. Cool. Uh, and Buppado is going to be looking for stuff. Yes, a natural 20. Wow. <laughs> he finds his um, stuff. You, you see that Buppado's kind of getting frantic at this point, looking around and sees a large patch of what looks like about a thousand mushrooms making one large five foot tall mushroom like stacked on top of each other um and he kind of burrows into there and, you know, and burrows in further and just completely goes in <laughs> and fishes around a little bit and comes back out with what looks like a serrated hooked part of that mushroom that he holds out Look, look! And he pricks himself with it, and it manages to maintain a sharpness, and a small bit of blood leaks out from the finger. <laughs> oh. Kind of shuffles around with a few things, takes that rope, ties it on. I'm ready! <laughs> I told you you'd find weapon. Well, <laughs> that's just luck, I guess. <laughs> nice. There's no such thing as luck. I told you. Okay. As a team, we can do anything. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. That's definitely right. Um, and uh, Yilan, what do you want to do for the day? I'm going to try breaking out my shackles. All right. Go ahead and make a dexterity check. You can't use the thief tool, thieves tools on yourself, which sucks. <laughs> but go ahead and do a dexterity check or strength, but I don't think that's amazing. 19. Ouch. One off. You just try and squirm your way out, and these things are not budging. You see that they almost slip down to the wrists and kind of halfway down the hands, but they get stuck there because your hands are bigger than your wrists, you know? and you have to push it back up before it starts hurting. Um, all right, that was just that was just an extra little thing. So, what do you want to do with the rest of the day? Some tracking, some makeshift making, what have you? Um. I'm going to make, try and make some makeshift darts of some type. Makeshift darts. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a either dexterity or intelligence check, your choice, to fiddle around and try and make a couple darts, I suppose, with what you can find around you, probably made out of those same leaves, if anything. Um, 17. In which case, you pick a couple of those weird leaves that you find, and you kind of rustle them up a bit these seem sturdy uh go ahead and take five darts that are actually just really sharp 
sturdy leaves. Um, okay. Uh, as the second day of travel is dawning to a close, you're navigating at this point what seems like a large, you're kind of walking around the outside of it, a large black pool that occasionally bubbles up um, and then goes back down and settles. Uh, on your way, you, you're kind of passing through and you get to like the edge of it. And with everyone's dark vision, Miles, you notice this way before everyone else as you're kind of approaching, about 120 feet away. You see what looks like a very short uh, figure seems to blend in with the environment a bit. Dark, 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 purplish skin has some like piercing black eyes, very bright white uh, eyes other than that, wearing what looks like tattered, tattered prisoner's garbs um, with those same manacles that you had on. Um, and he is holding on to what looks like a small stone and just launches it into the pool and it skims a little bit and goes down. Hey, everyone, there is a person up ahead. Oh, How do you know? He looks like, a, he, he looks like oh, I have magic eyes. I can see very far. I can't even see you. Do you, not notice that, do you not notice they're glowing? It's definitely light looks like in this prisoner. place. Oh, I'm going to touch him and uh, give him infinite vision as well. All right, at this point, <laughs> your view widens to look proud. at a broader perspective. Whoa! You see like this all the while? Saluna is a, the blessing of Saluna is very, very gift. Very good gift. Maybe if you, uh, wow. I don't know. Maybe if you would like to become a follower, she might bless you too. Wow. The, 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 this right. vision is fantastic. <laughs> I've never great. seen this far in, in, in normal daylight. <laughs> Whilst they're going on about their <laughs> cool vision or whatever. <laughs> Uh, Lara's gonna sort of walk over to where um, Miles said the person was to see if you can sort of see them, but like staying quite down in stealth. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. Do do do. I think we're positive just a few people with him. Oh, that's a six. Okay. Adequan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's best if you go with him. <laughs> Probably. Right. Yeah. Uh, Slowly Laura, walk up behind. You... Okay. Adequan, go ahead and make a self check. In the meantime, yeah. Laura, as you're walking up uh, with Adequan following somewhat behind, you're slinking down low. You're not used to wearing a chain shirt. <laughs> And you're kind of shifting, and as you duck down, there's a loud as they kind of go in on each itself, and the chains begin to interlock. You have to pull it back up, and he turns around and, oh there, yep, I'm just uh, skimming rocks, you know, you know, just keeping myself busy. Oh, right, um, right, I'm uh, I'm the rat. Uh, what's your name? Ah. Uh, Name's Jim Jar. I bet you won't get Jim four Jar? skims. Jim Jar. I bet, I bet you won't get four skims on that pool. I bet you. Four skims? Four skims. Four skims. Yeah, all right. Lower I goes over, picks up, uh, uh, like, tries to find flat as stone he can. Okay. Uh, here's Jim Jar. <laughs> Wait, let me look at Ginger. <laughs> oh, that's Ginger. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's Ginger. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. You're gonna... What is it, a deep gnome? A uh, deep gnome is what you can generally infer as a player. Right, so that's another um, person I tower over. <laughs> yes, very much so. Uh, kind of back up, get a good position. Go ahead and make a, uh improvised weapon throw. So just make a strength or dexterity check, because it's very light. Uh, either or. I think they're both the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's 11. 11. 
you throw the like skimmable rock out, it ding, 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 goes after three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Ah, uh, bad luck, bad luck. Yeah, it was mean? worth a shot. What do you mean? And he turns to his right. What, you think you can do better than that? Be my bloody guest. And he stands back, just stares at nothing for a moment. <sighs> oh my God, you just... She just did eight! She just did eight! My fucking God. All right, what do I owe you? Like three stones and shuffles around what you can see now, a small stone pile uh, under his feet, shuffles through, takes three stones, holds them up, and to the person that he seems to be talking to, to the right of him, just drops the three stones and they onto the floor. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Picks one. Oh. One. Okay. Uh, yes, most impressive. I don't see anything, do I? Uh, no, no one sees anything of what the hell he's talking about. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Laura uh, is going to kind of look a bit puzzled. Be like, um, so uh, what are you what are you doing out here rather than skimming stones? Well, I have a new betting partner. Uh, say hello, Janine. She's quite an odd sort, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Um, so, uh, me and a uh, few friends are currently uh, walking about. Uh, do you know where the nearest uh, town or civilization is from here? Uh... Turns over. Really? Ah, fucking nowhere. What do you mean, nowhere? Like, I don't know. Came from Velcom Velv. I'm here now. Oh, the, the prison. Ah, uh, you've been there too. <laughs> I mean, I got out. Uh, Slippery fingers. Well, we broke out as well, but it was, um, well, less slippery. A little bit more physical. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I have one warning for you, but you want to take it over. All right. Steps back. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't understand. Um, I don't understand her accent. You see. Uh, all right. Fair enough. It's a bit under dark Ian, for you, I suppose. Yeah. Um, no. So basically. It's it's kind of like it, it's about a day's travel down this way and points further into the humongous arcing cavern that you're currently in with the large pool. Just go about a day's travel that way. I had a little visit. There's like a den of gnolls and stuff. And about a day from there, there is this massive ass gnoll king something. He's called Yino Goo and he's just running around. So careful of that. What a Null King. Yeah, he's like he's like one of the demon lords, yeah. He, he's just hanging around. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, demon around. demon lords. Right. Um, you know what a knoll is, yeah? Little dog person, right? I mean sure, yeah. Yeah, imagine one of them, but ten times as big and can talk all languages and is ruler of all the knolls and has come here to wreak havoc and is gonna take over the world. <laughs> one of those. Right. I, walk over, I walk over to Miles and go, this gym jar is a few stones short of a full jar, I think. It may seem that way, but he talks of demons. Oh, and he's talking to no he one. Must, he's talking he to must, no one and expects us to hear. He must at least investigate the demon for my research more than anything. I cannot kill what I cannot see. I can help you see. You have. Well, you've given me sight, right but I do not see what he's talking to. It's because she's not really there. He's insane. That is why I'm saying he's a few stones short of a full jar. This gym jar. But the demon. I would not trust him. Prince. The demon prince is probably a thing. He can't be 
lying about that too. We owe it to at least. I, I, I have. Made. Make sure it is something to avoid. We can see from very far away, so we don't have, need to get close. True. Right. Yeah. Just go down that way, and you saw it. Uh, wouldn't right, recommend going right. there. Okay. But you, you're saying gnolls, right? Yeah. As in yeah. the hyena people. Yeah, they're like doing hunting rounds and stuff. There, there's a lot of them. Like an influx about a day down. Uh, where are you guys off to? Uh, and then Laura kind of just points up. Ah, uh, you want to get out? Good luck, mate. Uh, nah, can't help you there. Bit of a wild goose chase, really. Uh, you know, I don't need to right. get out. This is my home. I'm quite enjoying my stay here. If, if I am a little famished, but I do not care because I have some of the best companionship in the world. You are, I must say, quite a large fellow. Um, what sort of creature are you, my friend? The creature's not from around here. Mm, vague, I like it. Uh, about one stone, and you tell me. He takes out one stone and holds it. I was about... Does he look like malnourished at all? Uh, you're getting a closer look, and his face is thinning, his uh, skin is beginning to kind of sink in a little bit. He's not doing great. How's about I tell you where I am? If you come with us, we get you fed, and uh, I'll throw in a stone for it. Go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. <laughs> Here's a stone for your troubles, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's the former uh, persuasion. Uh, yes, persuasion. That's a nine. Why is it a nine? Think for a second. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm content here, you know. Uh, me and Janina, me and Janina are having a good time, you know. <laughs> right, yeah. well. Well, I was about you uh, eat something for ah. us. You're looking a bit. Well, you're looking a bit scrawny, friend. All right, fair enough. Time to start digging into the supply. Takes one of the rocks and. Oh, <laughs> oh that's crazy. Right, right. I'd, I'd, I'd stop if I were you, here. and I'd like hand over like one of the. Well, I hand him over the. Uh, uh, the ra the last like sort of bits of the uh, rabbine uh, rations. Mm. Ah! Tosses it to the side and continues munching on a relatively small rock. All right then. Fair enough. Oh, I mean, goes down the stomach, all right. I suppose if you crush it right, but that's going to take a while. <laughs> This right, well, insane. we're gonna go. Uh, all right, well, Tara. Yeah. Which which way we, which way did you say the the demon was to avoid it entirely? That way. Oh, avoid it entirely. Oh, I have no fucking clue. Probably just the opposite direction. Well, if let's I'm being probably go towards sort of where that camp is, and uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, sure. I need I need to see the demon prince. Not see him, but from afar see him. I don't know yeah, I wouldn't there. recommend just walking up to you know go exactly. It's um, you know, it's more than just him though. There's you know how there's like an outbreak of demons here recently. Yeah. There, there's what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably ain't heard of that either. Um, yeah, it's all gone to shit, really, mate. I was gonna look over to Adequan. Should I? Jeez, no. This is not good. <laughs> uh, where, so there is many demon lords down here. Yeah, I think all of them. I mean, most of them have been sighted. The oh. weird um, Minotaur one ain't showed his face yet, but he's probably going to pop out any time soon. You Minotaurs. Know? Right, okay. So, 
Not only are we down here facing drow and starvation, but also demons. Yeah. Oh, they're chasing it's you. Just got, it's just got fun. Palomov sitting mm. on the edge of the water washing his feet while all of this is going on. Okay. <laughs> uh, Palomov, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get for washing your feet, idiot. Oh, death. <laughs> <laughs> Instant death. Oh, that was no, no. Good save as well. You I'll live with that one. Into it, and you see that it's somewhat jelly like, but it slips in pretty easily. It's like a mix between, uh, it's like halfway hardened jelly, and you slip it in and like, clean it in a little bit. And then you realize, oh, my feet are becoming quite black, and you quickly withdraw them before anything too bad happens. But now they're just kind of like a, a dark purple. Oh, no! It wasn't water! <laughs> oh, I need green feet! <laughs> Laura, seeing this, kind of, like, smells the water and uh, tries to sort of get an idea of what it is. Okay, go ahead and make a nature check with disadvantage, because this is weird underdark shit. Whoa, weird underdark. Yeah. All right, what's this be a nat 20? Two nat 20s right next to each other. One, my lad. That's a oh. seven. <sighs> seven, you don't know what the heck the deal with that is, but you imagine it might have done some level of damage if he didn't get out quick enough. Right. Well, I'd suggest we get ourselves out of this place. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your assistance. Yeah, I need yeah, to find some water to get rid of these purple pores. All right, yeah, oh. we'll sort it out when we stop. All right, don't you worry. I'm, I'm getting upset because I've got purple pores. I need to get right, my Okay, washed. all right, we don't need your complaining. <sighs> that one's a big of a bit baby, <laughs> baby isn't he? He's a bit of a. Funny. I don't like wash your feet. With your tears. Yeah. Wash your feet with your tears. <laughs> you might have to. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm all out of water for today. Wow. If we can find containers, we can store quite a lot of water. I have to start collecting my pee if I'm not careful. Like oh, a last gross. resort. Right. I think that would make Take it worse. Room. Right. Um, Anyways, so... uh, thank you for your time, uh, Jim Ja. Yeah, no problem, mate. Uh... I hope you safe travels. We will be having many bets about which one of you are going to come out alive or not. You, Mr. Big Man, you're going to be fine. Not so sure about the little skinny human bloke over there and points towards Miles. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you yeah, for your time. Elias. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, see ya. And takes another rock and skims it. I just think I was going to give that man rocks. <laughs> As we're walking away, uh, Lara kind of turns over to uh, uh, Miles and says, uh, that guy was completely crazy. I mean, gnolls? Gnolls don't exist. Uh, gnolls do exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Terrifying. Yeah. They're terrifying creatures. Minotaurs as what, well. What, Minotaurs. what are gnolls? Yeah, they're, they're like, like hyena people. Hyena men. What? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Minotaurs also were real. They are made by the demons. Yeah, made by demons. Yeah. Ooh, an another race to, to uh, hunt then. Fabulous. Right. They are Jeez. totally real. Yeah, sure. I, I have things on them in my in my books, which I don't have on me right now. But... I'm sure your books are very real and definitely not works wow. of fiction. How about we just go and I show you? The written Once word is a fabulous all. thing. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start walking off ahead, leading the leading the pack towards straight towards the uh, the null camp. All right. All right then. As you guys follow some general directions towards uh, where you were generally pointed by Jim Jar, uh, that's where we're going to end the session there. Next session. Ooh.
fun stuff. Madness <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I I'm so happy that I get to do this because I've never straight up just made my players like literally tortured. I've run them through certain guard. I've never actually made them go mad. Um, I. I've got like no idea how that's like came about though, because Laura just rocks up and then it's like, oh, I'm insane. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> there, there were clues that I mentioned, so maybe think about my description of the room. But yeah, it's the Underdark is very volatile. There's the demon lords. There's demons. There's uh, the drow that are currently pursuing you all. There's also you guys met your first insane person. Uh, <laughs> fun fact. Jim Jar was one of the original ten prisoners that I took out and just put back in improvised right hey. now because <laughs> oh, he would have been probably the most useful guy in there. He's like a he's like a full on rogue. Oh wow! But <laughs> yeah, he um he went insane and got a friend named Janine. <laughs> well, yeah. Now teaser, everyone also um, knows that uh, Laura has lived quite a sheltered life and doesn't believe uh, Minotaur is actually. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You keep telling me about weird horn people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Bull people and hyena people. Yeah, that's the... yeah. Next is going to be telling me cat people exist and they're called Tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I am. Um... Are you this guys is, liking this it? This is where you're uh, going to see me. Yeah. You're going yeah, about to see Miles go a bit weird about uh, finding demons now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no no combat today, I don't think. No, no combat today. No, Just no, some exploration. It's role play. Mm. Yeah. And I was sick. I'm very yeah. cool. And we're all very cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, cheers for tuning in, guys. We do. It's not like full-on three-hour sessions, mainly because we have an hour of technical difficulties before we start. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we made it through. There might be one or two weird pauses. Some video went on and off, so editing might go a bit weird. But yeah. we're getting the hang of it. And soon enough, we'll be professional. But you need to give us a lot of time. Because we're not professionals. No. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's still plenty more to do in this adventure, level three. Uh, and we'll see you all in the next episode. It's going to be delayed again because we have basically uh, a third of the party going on holiday. Uh, right. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> don't, don't be Boo on holiday, holiday. In, your, in your cool ass <laughs> villa over somewhere. Just play <laughs> D&D with me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you get internet. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> my main concern is the fact that I cannot do this alone. <laughs> I, mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know anything that happens. I just, I just say, I say words and run games and do videos. But um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. What and you're saying is Laura is the brains behind the operation. Oh yeah, easy. Uh, yeah, cheers for coming by. Uh, and let's do another cheesy wave. Au revoir. Au revoir. Easy way. Bye bye. Right. How the fuck does insane mechanics work? <laughs> <laughs>